What's up guys? In this video I want to show you a cool node library called Node Daemon. This lets you auto restart your server every time you make a change to your node application. So it's very nice for development so you don't have to keep restarting the server. Now I'm going to show you how to install, set this up, and I'll demonstrate how it works. So I'm going to hop over here to terminal and I have open a uh, node project. I'm using the Feathers JS framework but it doesn't really matter what you're using. This works for any node project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start installing it with npm i and then save dev and then node daemon and let that install. Now something to note, this is only for development. You want to make sure and not use this for uh, if you're putting this project in uh, production, you want to make sure you're not doing node daemon when you're doing that uh, in production. All right, so open up your package.json file and you want to replace your start instead of doing node source, for example, or whatever you're noding, you can do node daemon. Um, and then if we do npm start, it'll start it up and notice how it says it's watching. So usually what happened when you're doing development is you'll start up a server and then you'll make a change and then you'll come over here, you control C, and you'll restart the server, right? Now it's watching the files, so if I go edit a file, it'll automatically restart. So I'm gonna come over here, back, uh, go to localhost, I'm gonna go to, oops, slash hi. So right now, page not found, right? What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open up source. This is just the root of my application. And I'm gonna say app.use slash hi and we're just going to say hi to the user okay so I just made a change right to one of my files so now I haven't saved it yet notice nothing has changed here but when I save that file notice how it says it restarts the server and look it even catches uh, and then tries to restart your server and it catches the error that I just made and now, what it, notice how um, it doesn't crash out of no daemon though. I can go fix that change and it'll, you know, add it back. So instead of user, it should be use. Now it restarts it and it's good to go. I didn't have to exit out or anything. Now I can just come over here, go to my path, and bam, look, hi shows up. So that's super easy to set up and get started with no daemon and I recommend it for really any node application you're using and developing. Uh, it is great. But again, just to reiterate, make sure package.json you have like a in your scripts you have like a prod. And that one you just want to do node source. It's not too bad, but no daemon is a little bit more heavy cuz it's watching all your directories. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that helped. Um, if it did, hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video.